In this video we are going to see PLC memory types. Modern PLCs use modules that have solid state memory. The memory size for each type of memory is specified in bytes with one byte equal to eight consecutive binary bits. Because modem memory circuits can store a large number of bytes, the following metric unit prefixes are used to indicate memory size. Kilo, K. Mega, M, and Giga, G. There are a variety of solid state memory types, but these are the most common types. Read only memory. ROM stores information developed by the PLC manufacturer that cannot be changed. This type of memory is non volatile, meaning that the information contained will not be lost in the event of a power failure. Erasable, programmable read-only memory. EPROM is protected from unauthorized changes. EPROM can be read from, but not easily changed. EPROM storage is sometimes referred to as firmware. Module firmware is often designed to be updated when required. This is also a non-volatile memory type. Random access memory. RAM is also called read write memory and is used for temporary storage of programs and data. RAM is volatile, meaning that information will be lost in the event of a power failure unless power to the circuits is backed up by a battery or charged capacitor. Flash memory. Somatic memory cards. Flash memory is a type of electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, EPROM. Flash memory is a non-volatile memory type that, among other things, is used for somatic memory cards. These cards are available in a range of memory sizes and can be used to store or transfer a PLC user program and associated data. CPU Memory Organization PLC CPUs have a memory organization that defines the available storage for various types of information. PLCs of a specific model typically include a range of CPUs that vary in the amount of user memory available. Descriptions of user memory types vary from PLC to PLC, but the following user memory types are typical for somatic S7 PLCs. Load memory is non-volatile storage for the user program and related data. When a user program is downloaded to the CPU, it is first stored in the load memory area. This area is located either on a memory card or in the CPU and is maintained through a power loss. Work memory is volatile storage for some elements of the user program. The CPU copies these elements from load memory into work memory during program execution. This is volatile memory, so the information is lost when CPU power is lost but is restored by the CPU when power resumes. Retentive memory is non-volatile storage for a limited amount of work memory information. Much of the data used by the user program is stored in data box in the program. However, CPUs have global memory areas that are accessible by the user program. These include input, I, and output, Q, process image tables and bit memory, M, 